Today we're going to look at extensions and how to use them with both structs and protocols. Struct Samus and we'll do var jumps is an int. Now we're not going to create an initializer yet because if we instantiate a Samus variable you'll see that we get the member wise initializer from the struct. This basically asks us to put in the jumps so we'll set it to one. But using an extension we can create our own initializer and we can do that inside the struct or with the extension. If we do it inside the struct then you'll notice that we lose access to our member wise initializer. So after we type in this code we'll get an error on line 11 here. Extraneous argument label jumps. So our member wise initializer has been effectively overwritten and we can't use it anymore. But if we create an extension on Samus, we can now remove our initializer and put it inside of our extension. And now we have access to both this initializer, our custom one, and the member wise. So if we type Samus2, you'll see now we have both of our initializers. We can also add computed properties into our extensions. You cannot add stored properties, but you can add computed. So if we try to do var jump height equals 14, we will get an error here. Extensions must not contain stored properties. So let's put our jump height back into our struct. And now let's create a computed property inside of our extension var total jump height and this will be an int and it's just going to be a computed property that returns jumps times jump height. So now for our initial Samus variable, let's go ahead and delete this one. And now we can call Samus dot total jump height, run our code and we'll get 14. Extensions are also useful because they allow you to extend private data into the extension itself, meaning that the extension has access or visibility into private variables or private data that might be within the struct. So if we create private let space jump equals true, we will have access to space jump in here. So just as an example, let's just put times space jump. You'll see that it appears, even though this doesn't actually make sense. But so if we come down and try to take Samus dot space jump, you'll see there's nothing there because it's private. Now let's work with protocols and extensions. So we have a protocol called speed booster. That's going to have one function called boost, which returns void. Now anything adhering to this speed booster protocol obviously has to implement the boost function, but we can provide a default implementation right away using an extension. So extension of speed booster. And here we can define what boost is actually going to do. So let's just print out, use the boost to get through. Now come back to Samus and have her conform to speed booster. And guess what? We don't have to implement our boost function because it's already being implemented inside of our extension. We see we don't get any errors saying you're missing the boost function. And if we call samus.boost, you'll see it autofills. We run our code. We get use the boost to get through. So we've just provided a default implementation for speed booster and the boost function. We can come down here and create another struct, dark samus, speed booster, and it's the same thing. We don't even have to put anything in here. We come down here, var dark samus, dark samus dot boost. Use the boost to get through twice. But we can actually override this default implementation. All we have to do is copy this code out of the extension, paste it, and now we've already overwritten the implementation. We can come down here and say, we're boosting. And if we hit play, our first Samus says we're boosting and the dark Samus says use the boost to get through. And for our last example, I just want to show you how you can extend something like an int. So let's take an extension of int. 
So we'll take bunk multiplied by i, which is going to be an integer, and then it will return an integer. And all we want to do is return self times i. And now we can print out, let's take 6, and if you do dot multiplied by, you see our extended method comes up right away, and we can call it with any other integer that we want to. Let's run this, and we get 12. So this is a pretty crude example. You'd want to make something a little bit more useful, but at least this shows the point that you can extend int, you can extend string or double, things like this to add your own custom functionality. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and learned something new. Have a great rest of the day.